John just handed me a beautiful specimen of a brachiopod called Spinosertia. It's one of the larger spiriferid brachiopods. She has a deep groove on this valve called the sulcus and a bump on this one called the fold. This is the pedicle valve. This is the brachial. This was probably a, uh, serviceable in funneling water. So uh, this was a filter feeding animal. Uh, many of these in this particular level that we're looking at were buried more in their life position like this. It was probably bringing in, drawing in currents from the side and, and blowing out the wastewater channeled and funneled away using this uh, fold and sulcus. Nice piece. The, cool. the flagship brachiopod of the Tully. That, remember I said it was this warm water yeah, you did, uh, you set did, of yeah. organisms that comes in. This guy is called Tully Pophyrodina. It's even named for the Tully. And it's a real distinct Rhynchonellid brachiopod. And it's found in uh, warm water areas. Uh, and, and only in this lower Tully does it show up in, in the uh, Appalachian region, in the Appalachian Basin. That's a gorgeous specimen of the uh, of that brachiopod. Nice. Oh, look, this is interesting. Look at this. Here is a spiriferid valve. No ribs on it, you see? It's absolutely smooth. You know why? Because it's completely corroded off. This is a reworked brachiopod piece. And uh, all the ribs have been worn away. So in these kind of deposits, you can get things from perfectly preserved to just corroded bits. Now look at this, here's a nice brachiopod that shows excellent ornament on it. This is a little Spinosertia. And what else are we getting? The thing that's nice about these shelves, oh, look at that. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, look at that. Trilobite. Ooh. Not a trilobite. This oh. is, no, but it's a big Spinosertia, but it had attached to it an inarticulate brachiopod. Oh, that's, what, that's why that piece is scaled off like that. 